there was a huge amount of skepticism, huge. Everybody says, oh, these guys, these guys are a little bit crazy. Gotta watch them, a little bit crazy. Half the audience is like this, Chris, like this. And the other half of the audience is their jaws down. And then you'd sort of walk off the stage thinking, well, maybe they're right. Maybe we are crazy. But uh, we weren't. We weren't. They just told me that it looked like there was a tumor coming out from the mouth, that my baby was going to die. Weakness and paralysis at the knees, ankles, and toes. This is not part of our plan. Like, this couldn't be my baby you're talking about. It's an incredibly unstable situation for the twins. You're supposed to hear the heartbeat and see the baby's moving, and everything was quiet. We were nervous beyond imagination. The diagnosis was fatal if there was no intervention. Surgery on your baby while you are pregnant is a very, very big deal. They're operating on the baby while she's still attached to me. And this kid's coming out, Ben. He needs to come out. This can't be done many places in the world. This is not amateur hour. This is very serious stuff. It's very important for the parents to know that there are no guarantees. We're only going to be happy and victorious if it goes this way, but there's a possibility that it won't. There are times where our hearts are broken. We carry every single heartbreak with us to every single case. One of the things that we were trying our best to do was to allow ourselves mentally to go to the areas that made us afraid. You know, let's go to that for a moment that we might lose her. To ignore it as a possibility is naive. We have all these patients and their child, they know even before they're born that there's something wrong with them. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's here. Our baby's here. He made it. Hello, look at your sweet little face. <laughs> We're driven by patient needs. What's going on? We're driven by trying to find solutions to those unsolved problems. It's a miracle and a privilege uh, to take care of patients, particularly babies. Babies are the future. Right? What could be more compelling than a baby? Gosh. Okay.